Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stella, and I make videos talking about current technologies and tutorials on how we can use them. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up and run C or C++ on your Mac. So, let's get started. We will first open up our Visual Studio Code. If you haven't had Visual Studio Code installed yet, all you need to do is go to code.visualstudio.com and then download it for your computer. After that's downloaded, we will then go to the left sidebar, which is the extensions tab right here. And then when we search in our extensions, we will do C, C++, and we'll click on this extension right here, which is the C, C++ extension created by Microsoft. You can see that I have this extension installed. However, if you don't, you'll click on the install button and then you can see your download happening on the bottom right corner. After this extension is installed, we'll install another extension called Code Runner. So we'll go up here and search up Code Runner, and we'll install this Code Runner. This is a really useful extension because it will compile and run your program all in one command. The last thing we need to do is install a compiler. And because I'm on a Mac, I'll install Clang. So what we'll do is go to Terminal, and I'll check if I have Clang installed by typing Clang version and it appears that I have Clang installed. If you don't have Clang installed, all you need to do is type in this code, Xcode, select, and then dash dash install. This will install the Clang for you. After you have all of that installed, what we can do is go ahead and restart our Visual Studio Code by just exiting it and then opening it again. And we'll go to a folder of where we want to store our files in. So for me, it's in tutorial, so I'll drag and drop. Now that we are in our folder of choice, we can start creating our C and C++ files. So first, let's create a C file. We will go here and then do hello world.c. And to create a simple print statement in hello world, we will first have to include a standard input output. And then we'll have our main function, so int main. And then our main will return a zero. Lastly, we will do a print statement, which is printf, and then we'll write hello world, and then end it with a semicolon. Now all we need to do is save this file, and then we can go to the top right right here, which is the code runner, or we can do control alt n. It will compile and run our program for us. And we can see here we have hello world. The reason why there is a percent sign after it is because right after our print statement, we didn't initialize a new line. Therefore, if we had another print statement, it would actually start right where hello world ended, which is where the percent sign is. In order to get rid of the percent sign, all we need to do is a backslash n, and then when we save and run it again, this backslash n basically indicates that you want to create a new line after this string. And that's how you run a C program in Visual Studio Code. C++ and C are very similar, therefore it's essentially the same idea. We will go up here and create a new file called hello world2.cpp now for C++. In order to create a print statement, we have to include the IO stream, and then also create a main function, int main, have it return zero. And for the print statement, we'll use the IO stream, and then we'll create a C out of hello world, and then end it with a semicolon. So when we save this and give this a run, we can see that we get our hello world and as well as a percent sign. This is the same thing we encountered earlier in our C file, where we didn't specify that after hello world was printed out, we wanted a new line. To do that in C++, what we can do is add another insertion operator, and then we use the IO stream again, and type end L. This tells us that we are at the end of our string, and we will create a new line. So when we run this again, we can see that the percent sign is gone. And that's it. That's how you run C and C++ in Visual Studio Code on your Mac. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you were able to follow along and learn some cool new things. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I make videos like this every single week, so if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future tutorial videos, please make sure to leave them down in the comment box below. Other than that, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.